Yup, that 5 a.m. wake up is still real. If you're new here, my name is Mickey. I'm a nurse. My boyfriend, Kevin, is a doctor. And today you're going to be following us as we start our 12-hour shift. So on this day, I woke up before the boys did. And Lucky's always sleeping in the blanket. So I'm just trying to find where he's at. But turns out he was cuddling with Kev. Kev's version of getting ready is splashing some water on his face and putting his socks on so he gets to sleep in a lot later than I do. First things first, morning routine, uh, gotta brush our teeth, and yes, thanks to everyone's suggestions, I do in fact have an electronic toothbrush and not a manual toothbrush anymore. I always wash my face in the mornings because it just wakes me up and gives me like a good start to the day. Just patting my skin dry. I mean, honestly, I wish I could say that I put more effort into these mornings, but I definitely don't. We are just combing our hair out. Not that it really matters, to be honest, because it's just going to go in a pony and in a bouffant cap all day. I swear every day I wake up in the morning, I look like I am still in middle school, but it's a vibe. Mornings always start off with a huge cup of water. This just wakes up my internal organs, I feel like. I mean, I don't think anyone wants to wake up at 5 a.m., as you can see here, we've got two piles of scrubs. One of them is Kev's and one of them is mine. I also have my workout clothes here on the side. Sometimes I do like to do a little bit of stretching in the mornings, but this morning I'm feeling particularly lazy. We're gonna skip that um, and just stretch in my normal clothes. But we like to prepare our scrubs the night before so that we're not in a huge rush when we wake up in the mornings. Putting on some little socks and I don't know if I'm getting old or what, but honestly, my body has just been super achy recently and so in in order to kind of prevent that stress and you know having to stand for 12 hours at a time I just like to do some light stretching in the morning this is definitely not a workout and I definitely do not work out on the days that I do 12s I am no yogi but I just try to do some things that stretch out my legs my back do I fall asleep sometimes in the middle maybe I remember when I was in new grad and I used to put on makeup every day and look all cute. Yeah, that doesn't happen anymore, but I guess for the sake of today's video, we'll put on a little bit. Plus, it gives me a little bit of a boost of confidence, even though I'm going to be wearing my N95 all day, so no one's going to see what I look like anyways. This routine goes straight out the door anytime I need an extra 10 minutes of sleep, putting on a little bit of moisturizer, and I'll try to link all the products in the description box below in case you are interested, since I feel like these products are pretty trusty. These are pretty much my essentials so we start off by putting on some tarp shape tape concealer for all of the under eye bags and pimples that we've collected um, recently I've been a huge victim of mask knee mask acne and it's just I don't know it doesn't go away I used to never really get pimples on my chin area but recently they've just been popping up all over we are filling in our brows with the Anastasia brow whiz and then I even though no one's gonna see my mouth like to put on some tinted lip balm I feel like my eyes are pretty much the only thing people can see at work and so I tried to focus on this a little bit more when I have time. I also never realized that eyelash primer was a thing. I just have never used it before but it's honestly life-changing because I have these stubby Asian lashes and it gives me about twice the length that I normally have. I let the primer sit for a little bit and then I use the Colossal Maybelline Primer. Bretman Rock recommended this and I literally love his mascara reviews so of course you know that I bought it. I have always sprayed detangler in my hair, but now more than ever, I feel like it's so important because these straps of the N95 respirator mask are super staticky on my hair and my hair gets tangled up in there really easily. So we're about to change out of our pajamas into our scrubs. Boom. Depending on the day, sometimes I change into scrubs at home, sometimes I change into them at work. It just kind of depends checking in on the boys yep they're still sleeping lucky is usually awake but he'll lie in bed until kev gets up this is a very ghostly outline of me <laughs> walking in the dark to my kitchen so that i can turn that kitchen light on i'm usually starving when i wake up in the mornings and so right now it's time to pack our lunch and eat something for breakfast kev gets free meals but i don't and so that's why i pack my lunch but he doesn't this morning we are having naan and hummus. I've actually been really liking this recently. A hack is to turn your toaster sideways and that way you can use it as like a little toaster oven and toast small things. Y'all know I'm literally the world's best cook and so that's why we have pre-made sandwiches that I bought yesterday and yep, tossing one snack, two snack. Uh, we really can't have enough snacks because 12 hours is a long time. I've also been low-key obsessed with blueberries recently. And it's really not me if you don't throw a piece of chocolate in there because, you know, when you're med shift and you're about to have a mental breakdown, just have a chocolate. It makes it better, I promise. Okay, at this point, it's 6 a.m. and the boys really need to wake up, so I'm just gently trying to wake Kev up and he, of course, asks for another two more minutes. 
obviously my work has water but I don't know why I have this weird thing where the first water bottle of the day I like to pack by myself and then I refill it at work afterwards is this burnt yes am I surprised no it's still pretty good I feel like watching these clips, you can kind of tell how zoned out I am, and this is normally how the mornings go. I just have a routine, and I'm on autopilot, and I don't really have to think about things. So you must be wondering, how do I take care of a little dog when both Kevin and I work such long days? And so he is a small dog, and so he doesn't need a ton of exercise, which is helpful. Sometimes we walk in the mornings, but most of the times he just lounges around at home. We set up his pee-pee pad, his food, and unlimited water, and he just kind of does his thing all day. And when we get home, we'll take him on a big walk at night. Mornings. Good morning. Are you sleepy? Yeah. His majesty is finally awake. It's probably like 6.05 at this point. And yeah, that's his morning routine, putting his scrubs on. That's literally it. This is honestly a pretty special day because Kevin usually has to leave by five in the morning. And so this is kind of a later start to his day. And that's the only reason why we get to carpool today. Based on the clinic or surgery schedule, his hours can vary a lot more than mine do. This is evidence of Kevin double dipping like he always does. And again, he's doing the same thing that I was doing, just zoning out, eating our breakfast, our last moments of peace before we are dealing with human beings for the rest of the day. I pack my pajamas slash whatever loungewear because I don't like to wear my scrubs home. And so before leaving, I usually change back into my normal clothes. As you can see, this rack near our door is our quote unquote dirty rack. And so all of our dirty clothes from outside are hung on here. and We don't bring it further inside the house. Gotta pop on our masks before we step outside. As we're about to leave, Kevin decides that he's still hungry. And instead of eating real food, he would prefer to have a snack. And so he goes into the freezer and digs out these custard eclair bites. And yeah, three of them, wow. Most important step before we leave, we say bye to the doggy. He's got his bone, he's got his chicken, and his bed in the living room, and we have a furbo, so we get to keep our eye on him. And it is officially go time. It's gonna be a great day. We have to channel good energy. You know? Good night. We both have to go to work super early. The camera is not ready for this morning. I don't know if we are going to get off at the same time, but... I think I'm gonna wait for Mickey, right? I don't know, we'll see. We'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we just got here. We carpooled here, but Kev's gonna go to his work and I'm gonna go do my work and... Your work, my work. This is the end. No. Goodbye, right. Fred. Everybody have a good day. See ya. Hopefully we get off around the same time. I have no idea. Good luck. You too. Long day for both of us. Hello. I actually got back to the car before Mickey. I'm on actually a conference call right now. So I'm gonna just listen to that for a little bit while I wait for her. But she should be coming at any point. Hello. Are you driving home? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. I need you. I know. I'm so tired. I don't know how to do this. What a I'm day. Home. What a freaking day. Wow, I'm honestly kind of amazed that you finished earlier than I did. I was, was... twiddling my thumbs from like 3 p.m. to be honest. Can we give a little overview of our day? I already did. What, you already did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Today, it was a 12-hour shift. It was really busy. Um, had some crazy situations going on, but... Mine was very chill. We had clinic and no OR. We just wow, saw what a some life. <laughs> on for two more, so this is just the start of things. It's actually... I really liked being able to carpool. That was cute. I thought. That was cute. We are still carpooling. We haven't survived Isn't it. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute that we get to carpool? This is actually amazing because it worked out pretty well. We finished within what 20 minutes of each other. Kevin finished first. Mm, more than that. More than that. 30 minutes. Here. 40 minutes. Done, like, okay. I had a good longer for day. You. It felt good for you because you're the one. Yeah, because I wasn't the one who had to wait. It was a 12-hour day. 
So yeah, overall, not a bad day. Um, both pretty busy, so we weren't able to vlog our actual days. So sorry, but you'll have to give this video a big thumbs up and leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and that way, next time when we do post a day in our life, then you won't miss it. Yeah, neither of us are morning people, and so on the reg, like if we aren't working, we don't wake up early. We both like a lukewarm like 8, 9 a.m. wake up when we had absolutely nothing to do. Like sometimes we wake up at like 10. Yeah, I mean, we don't stay up late anymore like we used to. Yeah, we used to like stay up and watch movies and stuff, but now we can't do that. We have trained our bodies to wake up early and I think one of the most frequent questions people get are like it's hard for me to wake up early can I still be in medicine can I still be in healthcare and the answer is yes you just have to love it enough to do it otherwise you're gonna feel absolutely miserable because I love it and I still feel absolutely miserable waking up in the mornings I yeah. think you need to have a routine like once you do it a few times and you do it the same way then yeah if you know, keep the consistent schedule it's a lot you can't easier. just uh, do it and not do it go I'm waking up with a purpose, um, otherwise it's hard. We are going to uh, go home, disinfect, do our usual routine, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, sorry I'm yawning, let's cut that out. I hope you enjoyed this video, we had so much fun filming it, and don't forget to follow us on our socials, Cap has an